it's nessa here and you all are welcome to nessa kitchen hello everyone a big thank you to all of you thank you so much for always watching my videos i truly appreciate you all if you are coming across my channel for the first time you are welcome thank you so much for stopping by please after watching the video don't forget to click on the like and also subscribe to my channel feel free to turn on your bell notification so that whenever i upload my video you'll be the first to get a notification so i made okra soup and i decided to record it um i got this okra like a day ago and today i felt like eating okra soup with pounded yam and i just said you know what let me just make this okra with you all so i won't be using knife to like um cut my okra but you can go ahead and use knife to like slice your okra into tiny pieces the way you want but for me i'll just be using this my little chopper to just um chop the okra i love the way it came out and i'm done chopping the okra so next now i'll put in a pan on fire and i'll go in with pan oil palm oil <laughs> so i will now add enough onions i love onions in my okra some people don't love putting onions in their okra but for me it tastes nice after that i went in with a blended mixture of tatashe tomato and onions then i went in with one maggi crayfish i will be putting salt then for all my proteins i'll be using catfish i'll be using shaki i'll be using pomo and i will also be using um stockfish i guess <laughs> yeah after that i'll just add a little bit of water so that everything we cook and i'll cover it allow it to just boil until all my proteins are soft so at this point i believe they are all well cooked so i'll just go in with enough crayfish i love crayfish is my okra you can if you don't love crayfish you can just like skip it but me i put um crayfish inside and i'll just mix it a little bit after that i'll go in with all my okra this is everything i'll just put everything inside and now i just have to mix it and allow it to just cook for a while and our soup will be done thank you so much if you've watched up to this point please if you've not like a like if you've not subscribed please subscribe i love the way this okra is looking and it tasted so so nice i really enjoyed it the crayfish scents was just perfect and i really love all the proteins that were inside so next now i have this um ugu leaf in the freezer and i'll just be adding it a little bit just to have um some leaves inside and i want my okra to be a little bit more greenish so i went in with the ugu leaf and i'll just mix it most people always say that whenever they cover their okra it doesn't um used to be thick it end up being watery but me i cover my okra i cover my ogbono but still they end up like being so thick i feel it depends on the water you should not put so much water in all your draw soup if you put like so much water and if you cover it everything will just be so watery and this is what we have guys this okra tested so so good i really enjoyed it how do you make your okra do you make it like this or you use there are so many ways of making okra this is just one of them and i love this recipe thank you so much for watching from the beginning to the end please like this video and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and feel free to watch every other of my video if you are new if you are an old subscriber i say thank you for sticking with me up to now see you in my next one bye